next section is talking about some of those, but kind of framed in the, what is it that you can do to both um, some of what your role would be in building their capacity, but also in ensuring the sustainability of any increases that, that result. So some things to consider. First um, is going to be, some of the key elements will be trust. And this is a conversation that we had earlier about um, how do you convince them that you really want learning, that you really want them to benefit from this evaluation, that, that, that it's not just a, you're gathering information for your own purposes and, uh, and, and they're not gonna get anything out of it. And so establishing trust in an open line of communication is, is gonna take some time and it's going to be fostered by maybe that, that um, suggestion of the discussions, the regular discussions that I was talking about, but it's also certainly gonna be, be be supported by this walking of the talk. So if you um, say to them that it's okay if you fail as long as you're learning from your mistakes, you can't then reduce their grant amount um, when they fail. <laughs> um, and if you say that you want it to be about learning and not just about accountability, then you have to ensure that when you're asking them questions in your conversations and in the final reports, that there's an opportunity there to say what did you learn from this and that you're pushing for them to share learnings as much as you are pushing them to share evidence of impact. Additionally, it's helpful if you're doing the same things with your own house. So if you end up learning about things that you can be doing better, sharing that with them to model that you're accepting of failure, that you're accepting of things can be done better, and that you're being self-critical in a way that you're trying to get them to be self-critical. And if you're asking them to evaluate themselves, that you should be evaluating yourself as well in your work. Other things to consider. If you're asking them to conduct evaluations and do this work, asking them to be reflective and create opportunities to be reflective, that you need to facilitate that with resources. So tie the dollars to the ask. If you're asking them to do a lot of evaluation, you need to fund them with more dollars. If you're asking them to do less, then you don't need to fund them with as much. Uh, so tie your dollars to the, to the ask. Additionally, it's not just going to be about dollars. There's other resources that you can provide to them. Evaluation technical assistance, resources, tools, guides, descriptions, software, other things that we'll talk about. But there's other things that you can provide to them to support this work beyond the dollars the dollars alone and the time, the staff time that those dollars, those dollars represent. <coughs> Additionally, and this is a really critical one, is that you can use your power dynamic as an advantage here to be a convener, a connector, and bringing different people to the table. So this can be cross grantees, cross foundations, um, or even just a connector within that one organization and pushing them to share that data um, more broadly within the foundation so that I mean within the organization so that conversation we were talking about earlier about how maybe your point of contact is the development director or some development officer there that um, you're pushing beyond a conversation just with them to make sure the data is being shared between the program officer the senior leadership but serving as a connector convening is going to be a great opportunity I mean geos is serving as a convening bringing you all together and you're having the opportunity to learn not just from us but from each other but modeling that with your grantees and bringing them together so that they can learn from and then finally, I love this terminology, the generous donor. I stole that from Haas Jr., the Edward Walter Haas Jr. Foundation. Um, and they use it to describe the acceptance of contribution at the foundation level. That you can't, that you need to be willing to share your goals, share your outcomes across funders the same way as you're pushing your grantees to. That if you, that if in accepting that you are only contributing to these changes and that you share these grantees and that you're not trying to own these changes and own these outcomes and say, we brought this about, our foundation, our, and it's a lot of money, so it, the temptation is to be able to say, we did this, but in the scheme of things, it's, it's very rare that you're gonna be able to do that and being willing to, um, to uh, allow that you share grantees and the grantees' efforts are supported by multiple funders and that you are being generous in that ownership <coughs> of 